Okay, so today we're going to be taking this little 12 volt car accessory socket inverter and taking this LED module and now it's a torch. So basically we're going to try and shove a driver circuit and try and work out a way of cooling this 50 watts of LEDs. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're stripped onto the bare components. So we've got the casing. Uh, the end which had the plug socket in, the end with the fan, that fan will need an upgrade. Uh, there's, the holes are quite restrictive as well, and I've got the switch plate which has been removed. So what I need to do now is I'm going to cut a hole in this, and what I'm thinking is I'm going to take this heat sink, which is not big enough, and then there's this already this huge block of metal on the back of here, um, just because it's the only thing we had that was the right size. I just think I'm just going to put that on there, and then put that whoop, in there and then just try and get a way of shoving as much air over it as is physically possible. Okay, so the plan for cooling is the bottom is going to be an intake. So I've got this fan here. This is going to go in and it's going to go in an intake. It's going to go through the tube and then it's going to come out these slots that I've cut here. Now they align with the wide fins on the thing. Now I'm also going to have this little fan snuck on here. Um, now I could put the original fan that came with the inverter that fits the heatsink better, but this one is, uh, it looks small, but it really screams. This moves like three times the amount of air as this thing here. So um, that's going to go here. So the plan is it's going to come sort of down through the tube, over the electronics, through the heat sink, and then straight out. Um, we have got a big bit of metal, so that will be a lot of thermal mass that we don't have to worry about too much. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we're pretty much done. It's pretty janky and I had a bunch of screws break inside so these end caps aren't on very well. Uh, there's an XT60 plug here <coughs> that uh, is power. That's not attached yet. So we've got the fan in the bottom. There's the vent holes and the heat sink in the side now. Then for powering it I have this like laptop charger. I've put an XT60 on so this is about 100 watts. The LEDs are 56 watts altogether. And then there'll be a couple of watts for the fans and some losses in conversions. So if you plug that in there, I'll try and do this when it's stood up. And there you go, you can see it's kind of sort of working. And there we have it, the world's most janky inverter torch. So you can see, definitely was a power inverter. It is very bright. Um, something keeps hitting that fan in the back, but you know. Yeah. It does quite well actually, we'll take it outside in a second. There you go. Okay, so we're outside now, it's quite dark. You can see, well, at least as far as the camera's concerned, not a lot going on. So we're going to plug it in, see what happens. There we go. Torch is on now, so you can see the trees really well. Definitely lights up the garden. I can tell you to eye, it definitely works quite well. So hang on, let's uh, see if I can unplug it like this. And I'll see if I, we can get a comparison. There you go. And that is kind of the difference it looks like in real life. So I think that's a success. Okay, so I'm just doing some thermal testing. So output air temperature, 24 degrees. If I uh, move the thermal probe to the heat sink. So you can see the heat sinks getting on at probably that's what, 30 degrees by the time that equalizes. Let's see what it gets up to. 
There we go, 31 degrees on the heatsink inside. And the block of metal. Rather quite warm actually. Okay, so now we're looking at the underside of that bit of metal. So that's 35 degrees. Um, this has been running for a while now, so I think it's definitely equalised out. And then if we move the thermal couple, I'm just going to like put it in between one of the LEDs. So this is actually touching the back of the LEDs. So they're 45. Well, that looks fair, which is quite warm. But it's considering how quickly this was put together and how jankily. That's pretty... I'm, I'm okay with that. I think the thermal paste I'm using pretty bad. It's quite cheap. Where else can I measure? This is kind of like centre die temp, if you... Similar, oh yeah. So it, it's warm, but also not. This is air temperature. 27 degrees there. 30 degrees heatsink. 